just say this first off about Mercury retrograde. Every Mercury retrograde's got its own thing, right? Last year Mercury retrograded in Leo, so I was prepared for this one, but not when it's on your fucking sun. When Mercury retrogrades on your sun, it sucks. Literally, I've had more scheduling conflicts, time conflicts, traffic issues. I literally have just been like nonstop, like, where where is everything going? Like, you know, like it's just been all over the place. So, you know, for some people, I don't know, I've had a TV break, uh, apps that like I use not work, passwords gone. I'm like, what do you got? I'm like, what the hell's going on here, man? It's been it's been an interesting one. And I, I did another uh, article for Seventeen today on somebody. I, I don't know if I'm allowed to release who it is, but it's a big celebrity that um, was pretty cool. But like, I'm like, I did the reading, and I'm like, well, I hope, I hope it's Mercury retrograde. I hope, hope everything's said right. And I know, I know it is, but it's just like, you know, it was actually scheduled for yesterday, and then I had to move because I did a podcast with uh, Eliza Kelly. She's awesome. Uh, check her out. But yeah, it's been it's been crazy. Like, like Mercury retrograde my son. Like, what the hell? Zero Leo. You know, like, what? It's been interesting too, right? Like, I don't know. And then I made that post about you know my relationship that ended. Like, fucking crazy. Like, I'm like, you know, like all the information in life is out. There, everybody go. You know what I mean? It was like, ah! so. Definitely a weird, weird ass Mercury retrograde for me. And, um, fuck, you know, I don't know. It's, it's been, uh, it's been an interesting time. I'm, I'm happy the eclipses are over. But, you know, I'm just a patient Leo waiting for fucking my birthday on Tuesday. Patient as I can be. Um, I don't know. How's everybody In feeling? One mile! Deep left. I got Cookie Monster guiding me in the Corvette to work. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know if you guys could hurt, hurt Cookie Monster. Fucking. <laughs> like, that's like Mercury retrograde fucking in fucking Leo on my son. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what? I got Cookie Monster directing me to get to a bug of my work. They're driving, even though I don't need him on right now, but he's on. In the quarter of a mile, keep left. Okay, I will keep left. You know, all right, Cookie Monster, keep it left for you, buddy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> keep left. Okay, I'm keeping left, bro. Like, gee, many Christmas. I wish they had another Sesame Street person. so funny. I'm keeping lighthearted, you know, like, 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 I was like, I, I don't know why, that, that TV thing really got my mood at Taurus pissed. Like, you know, I was just like, really? Really? Like, you know, it was a, it was a really nice TV, too. Like, I, were, I remember I got it in 2017. I worked my ass off for that fucking TV. And fucking, it's like two years old and I barely use it. It fucking broke. Like, and Sony won't call me back. Fucking Sony. I'm done buying Sony's. I'm just putting it out there. And, I, I, and my grandfather and my uncles ran the biggest TV shop in Newport Beach from the 50s all the way until like 2000, for 50 years. And did TV repair and rented TVs to all the rental homes in Newport Beach. And Sony was the way to go. And now, and my other grandpa, that's all I told him. Sony, fuck, Sony, fucking two. I've had Sony, two Sony TVs break in the last two years. Same issue. Fucking like they fry. Like they just like, they won't turn on. Like, you know, same shit. Done. And 
I'm on that yeah, LG, like my LG OLED, like that's in my living room. Best TV I've ever had in my life, like hands down. So I don't even know. Yeah, I know there's no warranty. Like they're fucking like so they don't even call you back. Maybe maybe when Mercury retrograde fucking comes off my son, I'll deal with it. You know what I mean? Somebody said detached from the material things. I know, trust me, I I, I do detach from it. I'm just saying, like it's life though I mean I mean, I know we're in spirituality but like we got life too you know what I mean like you know like I don't know we got life imagine if we were all like just like naked walking around fucking with no no material anything anywhere and like just kind of we did that for a long time obviously it didn't work you know what I mean like obviously we wanted cars and clothes and all this kind of stuff like definitely wanted to make our lives much better you know like I love Jordan Peterson have you guys been watching Jordan Peterson that guy is the man in one mile exit right okay going right <laughs> so um, uh, Jordan Peterson though is the fucking man so I found him like six months ago I watched a couple videos and then my mom started watching him, and then she was like, watch Jordan again. I'm like, okay, so I started watching him and again, and I'm like, oh, I'm like sold on this guy. Like, um, I don't know where I was bringing this. Oh, I'm bringing this into context about material things. And this is directed to women. So women's lives enhanced so much in 1885 because in of- a quarter of a mile, exit right. Okay, so this is a very murky retrograde life. Um, like, so, that's not Satan, it's Cookie Monster. Um, no. Exit right! Unless Satan likes cookies, I don't know. In 0 0.1 okay. miles, keep right, dum de dum dum de dum dum Keep right, dum de dum 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 in 0 0.1 miles, I'm trying to talk turn to you, left. Hum, num, woo, I'm num, trying. Num, num, Stop chopping. And I'm then I'm turn to talk. right. Hey. Turn hey. left. Hum, num, woo, hey. Num, 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 num. I'm trying to talk. And then turn right. Okay. Jimmy Christmas. Satan loves cookies. Okay, so in 1885. Things for women, like, I don't think they had tampons, but they came out with, like, you know, the pads, I guess, toilets. Like, it made women's lives better, because being a woman, it's not easy. You guys, you ladies all have to deal with, you know, your menstrual cycle, and it's just a different world. And, like, so, like, when, when, when spiritual people tell me material things are just all bad, just like, blah, 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 it's like, okay, then get rid of the toilet. I'm sure you love your toilet. I'm sure you love your shower, too. And I'm sure that you love that you sleep in a nice bed in a nice place with, you know, windows that, you know, keep the environment out. You know what I mean? So Turn right! All right, Cookie Monster. We're, we're rolling with you through this one. So, like, when people tell, try to tell me the whole, like, you know, thing about the material thing, like... Of course, the tattoos, you don't make your whole life based off material things. But you also have to learn to appreciate that they are beautiful things too. Like, I mean, that's what Taurus represents. Like, a tool is a tool, it's a material thing. Like, you need a hammer in order to put in a nail, and you need a nail in order to put in that beautiful picture that's probably in your place, or that painting, or, you know. Like, what about no bed sheets? You don't want bed sheets? You want to sleep on the, the dirt tonight? Like, you know, like, if you're down to sleep on the dirt tonight, let's roll. Like, I'm down. I've done it. You know, so, I don't know. Like, the whole the whole spiritual community and material things, like, you know, it's like, so, like, it's like, to me, it's like the, the things that I use in my life. Like, I use a TV to watch the app and make sure, like, I'll be in bed and I'll go on my Apple TV and I'll fucking go on High Vibe and I'll be like... What is fucking tomorrow saying? What is this? What is everybody saying? And that's why I, I watch it. It's half parents. a mile. Turn right. I know. I know. So, you know, 
So it's like, you know, when something like that breaks, you know, messes up my system a little bit. Like, I have a little system going. You know? Like, I get all in bed and I check check my high bar. And then, and then I'll check my news. You know, I like watching political news. I just like the politics. I don't know. So, you know, I watch that through YouTube TV. I got rid of my cable. Like, I don't know why anybody's on cable. In 0 0.1 miles, turn right. Okay. So, anyway, a very random Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde leaves Leo today, goes back into Cancer uh, tonight. At, like, turn right. Midnight Pacific, so 3 a.m. Uh, and then 8 a.m. Europe. But what's interesting, actually, was in half a mile, oh, turn left. Nom, 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 okay. Nom, nom, nom. I'm trying to, you know, me and me and Cookie Monts. We're trying. In a quarter of a mile, turn left. I don't think, um, num, whoa, I, don't, num, num, num. I don't think him and I are gonna be friends. You know, like I, I love him. I'll be cool with him, but I would go insane. I'm gonna turn Cookie Monster off. I, I have like a, an English. I always have English ladies. Like UK, talk me like I feel just my moon and Taurus. My Leo is like, oh yeah, I feel like extravagant having like an English. Turn name. left. Okay. Um, I know. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, um, 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 I get it, dude. I get it. I get it. So, like, you know, where's I need to put it back on my English girl. But then if I did that, I have to get out of this, and then you guys would not be live with me. Um. Other than that. There's, this is kind of a beautiful day to kind of decompress from the eclipse, the moon, you know, out of all that zone. It's in Aquarius, it's just connecting, and then it's coming into Pisces this weekend to be with Venus and Neptune trying. And ah, we made it to we, destination. We made it to now the destination. That's great driving. Oh. Let's celebrate with Cookie. Oh, yeah. Nom, 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 Let's nom, celebrate. Nom, 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 nom. Let's celebrate that you're shutting up. I sound so mean to Cookie Monster right now. <laughs> like, let's celebrate that you're fucking shutting up, dude. Get Big Bird in here or something. I don't know. Cookie Monster. Oh my gosh. You know what? Maybe Cookie Monster is a monster. People who eat too many cookies get a little all. Oh. Or maybe they need to update Sesame Street Live version so that I was going to say they should make the Jewel Monster like, you know what I mean, the Jewel Monster. Um, uh, so that was like an hour and 45 minute drive. But I'm done with this Mercury Retrograde of my son. It ends today, so all my scheduling has been so crazy. I did a reading this morning and then did 17 I really want to tell you who I, I did. This one's going to be huge. It's going to be the biggest 17 article I feel that I've done. I've done like seven or eight now. And this one is big. All I can say is she's new, got really big really fast, and she's young. I'll just say that. And you all can just think about it. And she wears very unique clothes. I'll just say that. And she's a Sag. So I'll put that, I'll put that out there. But, um, so anyway, that was a great article. And then, uh, anyway, yeah, I got readings right now. And then, um, we're doing some high vibe things. And then, uh, I'm going to actually take tonight off and not, work. <laughs> I was here until 3 a.m. again last night, so I'm uh, on two nights, 3 a.m. at work, and I ate dinner at 3.45 a.m. last night, and then I got up at 10 a.m. this morning, so, you know, it's just been, like, my schedule has been, and especially lunar eclipse and uh, Capricorn, you know, it just, it just, we all kind of feel like we were on a string somewhere, like a puppet, like, kind of forced into 
situations and now it's decompressing and now we're gonna finally be able to go you know get away get away from all this stuff you know well I really don't have a day off <laughs> um, this weekend I do I think I might go to Vegas so for my birthday because I can't celebrate my birthday next week I have too much I have work and shit and I might take my birthday off for the first time I might take a day off but it's spirit or it's uh what do you call it? it's after dark and it's um deep astrology so I'll probably do that I don't know yet but I haven't had like a day off in a long time Well, I'm not, like, racing or something, you know? And even if you guys notice, if you're on the app, the weekend report, like, is in the, is, is, well, I'm at my race, like, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I definitely am, like, I need some moment off, you know? I just need a break, like, I don't need long breaks either. I just need like a couple days where I'm just like, don't need to think for a minute because it's been, I think we've all been going through it. Smoke and retribution keeps it burning. I'll be 35. 35. come to the Chicago suburbs. We were there last year. We were there last year for nine days. I'm 34. I'll be 35 next week. I'm old. You know, it's funny. I'll tell people my... Oh, no. Um, I, is my brain fully developed? Oh, I fucked my brain up then. Shit. Um, uh, oh, you didn't know about me last year? Yeah, that, that sucks. I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, I was there last year. I hope 35 is a good year. 34 was fucking... Actually, it was actually very good. I'm going to look at the positives. There was a lot of good things. I learned the best lessons of my life. High Vibe launched. Um, I got a magazine out worldwide. Did a lot of television shows this year. Been doing all the 17 celebrity astrology articles. I mean, there's a lot of positive things, you know. Moved to L.A. So... I'm looking at the positive, you know. 35, though, is like, you know, it's like in medical journals and stuff. It's like 35 and older now. You are blah, blah, blah. I started to get some gray hairs and shit. Fucking, I'm like, fuck, you know. Like, my hair is starting to, well, I still got hair, thank God, but, you know. Yeah, so I was going to say, like, everywhere I go, people think I'm like 28 or 27. And I'm like, Really? I'm trying to, like, look older, be older, but, like, everybody thinks I'm young. I guess I'm not, but anyway, I gotta go do this reading, and I love you all, and, um, you know, enjoy this Venus-Neptune and know everything's going to align in the right place. The eclipses are over, but just make sure that you made some right choices in your alignment and um, that really feel the right thing for you to do emotionally. And um, my life path number is seven. Why do you think I'm all DJ, astrologer, like spiritual dude, man, bruh? <laughs> Like, that's what I do. Why do you think my head's always in the clouds? Like, what? Why do you think I'm, like, yelling at Cookie Monster? Life Path 7. I'm yelling at an invisible 
audio person. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm a little insane. I love you all. All right. Um, I'm talking to a bunch of people on the internet on a fucking phone. Uh, maybe I'm a life past seven. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? But, you know, I do like being a life past seven. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down with seven. Lucky number, lucky number seven. All right. It's, it's interesting to see everyone. I see ones, I saw a nine, I saw, I see I, a lot of ones and nines around. Um, I saw somebody with an eight. Oh yeah, I think different to every other number. Every life path is way different. One is just figuring it all out. Like, who am I? Two is like, all right, like, I figured out who I am, but am I comfortable being it? And I need to find comfort in that and owning that. And three is fucking, let me see how I can take life as far as I can. Let me travel. Let me see what's out there. Let me do this. Four is like, well, I want to do a bunch of things, but I want to do a bunch of crazy, unique, innovative things. And I want to radically change this place and do some crazy wild stuff. Five is like, I am smart as fuck, I'm intellectual, I'm a communicator, I'm a messenger here, I need change constantly. Six is relationships and, you know, money and values and understanding how to, like, materialize and manifest. Seven is the spiritual gurus that are the bomb <laughs> and the psychic ones. Eight are so the business people and the achievers and the ones that can shift this reality by creating new systems that will last lifetimes. Nines are completing ma major life warriors. They're on edge. They are pushing things to the limit and massive completions. So I love you all and I really gotta go. I really do. I really do. There, you got a little love tap. Mm. Love tapping you. Yeah. Wanna make out? <laughs>